Hello everyone, uh, this video is uh, going to be about issues other than <clears throat> those that have recently afflicted us. Um, I do want to say though, at least at the beginning, that uh, in light of the recent uh, disagreement, if one wants to refer to it as such, uh, a lot of shocking stuff has come to the fore. Uh, first, from Rocky Mystery himself, uh, I think it was pretty underhanded of him to make use of personal information that I chose to disclose. Uh, I mean, not even to, I mean, interpreted things into it. And when I do, do disclose personal information, mind you, I, I do it to the benefit of my viewers. So I think I might help them. Um, and you know, he, then he made in, in one of his older responses to a video where he uh, talks about this and tries to use it to discredit me. That was pretty foul and underhanded. Uh, I've yet to receive an apology from him uh, in that respect. Um, but what I think is even far, far worse uh, is some of these comments. Uh, really, the, the 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 caliber of the comments. I mean, I've been uh, mind you, I've never ever used language towards the opposition in such a way to no one actually, and yet I've been called an asshole. I've been called quote star faggot. I've been called all sorts of things. Um, now that's where the, the the fun ends when you just uh, resort to, uh, resort to uh, blank uh, insults. Uh, but it does bespeak the nature of these people's character. Um, uh, they clearly, clearly, clearly uh, are lacking in it, especially since uh, most of the comments eventually degenerate into name calling, something I've never done. Um, and well, you know, it's a pity. Uh, and, but I, I will say that if, uh, if, I, if I see comments directed either towards me or my subscribers where it really just degenerates into throwing blank insults at them, uh, name calling, you know, be it asshole or quote star faggot, uh, eventually I will block you. I may have a high degree of tolerance towards uh, for that sort of thing as I've said many times, but you know, at some point in time is enough is enough. And I think the and, I mean, it, it, it's just clear that that sort of thing uh, is not to be tolerated because uh, you'd think people are civilized, but apparently the patriarchs and traditionalists are not. Anyway, um, let's go on and move on to completely different issues. Uh, so a little while back I made a video about uh, uh, gauging your own kryptonite stress uh, tolerance levels with regards to women, how mo emotionally speaking, how much resistance you have. Um, and recent events, not necessarily my own, but a uh, work colleague, I'll talk about that in a second, uh, got me thinking, I was thinking, you know, it might be nice or helpful to make a video about uh, work-related distress and things like that. And this is what I'm doing here. Well, uh, basically, let me just say at the outset, uh, the, the thesis is that uh, because men uh, are disinclined to put it mildly, to seek help from external sources, we often internalize a lot of things. Um, but the thing that's interesting about male internalization, I've noticed, at least with myself and others, is that it, there isn't necessarily a, a reflective aspect to it. And uh, I want to start by giving an example from my own life. Here are me disclosing semi-personal information. Well, let's hope no one tries to use it to quote-unquote discredit me uh, and my positions. Anyway. Um, so a while back, when I was living in Asia, I, I had moved to Asia for the sole purpose of uh, saving money towards uh, acquiring my fa first master's degree. I've never taken government loans, and I refuse to do so. Uh, at best, I've, I've t I took a loan out uh, for a few uh, K from a friend, and I paid it back immediately to him. Um, but I've never taken loans out, and I didn't want to do it in that case either. And so you know, I basically worked two years nonstop. In two years, I had maybe four or five days off, not in, not even combined. Just if you, uh, sorry, not even you know following each other, just kind of added up. I had a tyrannical boss who was skimming uh, money off of uh, our taxes, and uh, it, was, it was a big nightmare. Anyway, and so I, I I really, but I had this goal in mind that I needed to save a fixed amount of money, and what happened due to various circumstances. Um, Yes, there was actually a woman involved uh, as well. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this one, but the, in this case, it was someone uh, I thought I had a relationship with, and turned out after a year that she was engaged, and her 
uh, fiance was coming, and I had no idea about this stuff. Anyway, you know, usual usual stuff. Uh, that did contribute a bit to the uh, stress, but uh, no, mostly it was just being, being overworked, and uh, and I, I just didn't know when to stop, because I just thought money, 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 and so I ended up in a situation where I was essentially living from my paycheck, which was a pretty dismal existence, I have to say. And, um, yeah, so, but I had this singular goal in mind, and as a result of that, long story short, the insomnia that I've had since time memorial, since my teens, uh, reached a point where I, for a while at least, I was completely dependent on sleep medication. It wasn't even, and it was, wasn't even helping that much. I was getting uh, basically uh, four to six hours of sleep uh, uh, every three days. I mean, in a total. So I was running like a zombie. I was pretty non-functional. And um, I have to say that had I taken a step back and said, you know, um, Stardust, why don't you just take a couple of weeks off or just you know, quit the job and find a new one, or, you know, been reasonable about it, uh, maybe it would not have gone that far. And interestingly enough, sadly enough, uh, I, uh, my insomnia, uh, although it's improved since uh, many, several years ago leaving Asia, it, it's never gotten to the point, not that it's ever been good, uh, prior to my, uh, my, sojourn, my sojourn in Asia. And so I think I, I've had lasting health consequences as a result of basically overworking myself uh, in a pretty shitty environment. I think those two combinations. So, I'm not just rambling on about this for no reason. Uh, I think it's really important that men keep in mind uh, what their individual stress tolerance levels are towards work. As I said before, different men have a different uh, emotional capacity with regards to their uh, kryptonite resistance uh, with women. But it, it's even more, it should be even more evident that different men have different uh, stress tolerance levels regarding work, physical labor, and all sorts of things like that. So, uh, for example, uh, I, I, I've been remiss in it in the last couple of months of getting back into it, but I have always enjoyed, not always, but for the moment, my, my late 20s and 30s enjoyed lifting weights, and different people have different recovery times. Some people can naturally recover uh, you know, with a day, other people need two days, some people can train every day, and so on and so forth, just like a marathon runner, some are marathoner and some are not. Some people can tolerate a very, very high intense level of work um, without crashing, but the thing you really need to emphasize and stress is that, especially men, uh, eventually there will come a point where the machinery is just not working anymore. I've seen it happen. I've seen men with very high stress tolerance levels um, just fall apart. And when it falls apart, uh, we get something that's commonly called uh, burnout, burnout syndrome. Uh, burnout syndrome, you know, it's kind of an umbrella term, but it basically encompasses just, you're burnt out, you can't do anything anymore. And in many cases, it takes weeks, if not months, to recover from it. Um, when I left Asia, I was almost certainly burnt out. My health was a total mess. I had gained unnecessary weight. My sleeping patterns were her beyond horrific, and it, it probably took a good year for me to compl not completely, but to recover the point where I was more or less functional. Um, but so that that's a real danger that men uh, miss a, do not estimate correctly their ability to tolerate stress. And I think I want to mention that motivation is a key. Yes, in, the, in my particular case. I was working towards a singular goal of saving up an X amount, X amount of money to pay for a degree so I wouldn't have to rely on anyone. Okay, that's one thing. But many men, men in relationships, married men, uh, work to provide for their families, yes, but also to, of course, uh, cater to the female. Um, they, they work their asses off. I have such a friend, I mentioned him before, he uh, is deeply involved in the state, uh, Rhode Island State Budget Office, he, the guy I mean, he has months during budget season where he just doesn't go home. And he likes his work. But even, I think now it's beginning to wear on him, uh, especially in light of uh, his recent pseudo-divorce and things like that. Um, so everyone has a limit. And we really need to be aware of that. In particular because, let's face it, uh, the world at large is not concerned with men's health. And at the end of the day, you as an individual man are the person that needs to kind of look after yourself. You 
there aren't other people out there who are going to uh, help you out. Um, if you're feeling ill, you need to register that with yourself, or if you're feeling depressed or any number of things, and really take, him th take that into account. Sometimes you really have to work. But I think there are a lot of cases where um, we're, we become fixated on certain goals or even money, and then we just we forget that we're, we possibly are damaging our long-term health by neglecting uh, important breaks from work and just R&R uh, &R and uh, just sitting back and thinking about things. In some ways, I think it's much easier to just fall into the you know, fall into the grind of things and just get totally get lost in it all. But there is a real danger. Um, you know, most recently, and the reason why I'm making this video is because I have a friend and colleague at work, someone whom I like a lot, and he um, he's an incredibly assiduous man. I mean, he does he just does incredible amounts of work, and he trains every day in, uh, at the gym, and has been doing it for 15 plus years, which I find just astounding. I mean, even exhausted after work. But um, recently, because of the um, fitness exposition, he's reaching his limit, uh, I think. And uh, he, so he had, does have a week off in the coming week, but he basically wanted to do nothing. Perfectly understandable. But his girlfriend is insisting they go on some holiday. And a holiday you think would be R&R, &R, but it involves seven to eight hours of driving for a total of maybe 14, 16 back and forth. And uh, it, it sounds a lot more stressed than it is an R&R. &R. And um, I think in, in his particular case, he's, this is a man who I have great respect for, it, but I, I think he needs sometimes to think of himself because he he's so beholden to many, many obligations, familial ones. He doesn't have a family, but his you know, sister and mother um, and uh, work and, and other and many other things. Uh, he, you know, he's the kind of guy that tries to do a million things at once and it doesn't always work out. And so it made me. It made me really think. Uh, you know, maybe this is this is a perfect example of you. Just sometimes you do need to think about your own well-being, and uh, because clearly, as is evidenced by his uh, his woman dragging him off to some holiday he doesn't want to go to. Uh, now, we we often forget this, um, and it's not just it's just not just women. I mean, like I said, we get we men have a tend to become we, we men's greatest asset in many ways can become, become men's greatest liability. One thing that I think mo more men have much more readily than, than women is passion. I don't mean you know, sexual, like sticking your dick in a vagina. I mean you know, desire to pursue something or the desire to invest a large amount of time, not necessarily just for monetary profit, but you know, just into, in activities that you might enjoy. Like I'm currently um, rendering a video along with music on my other channel. It took a couple quite a while to do it all, play, playing the game and then rendering. So, uh, no, I think we do that, but we, we, we over, because we become, become nigh obsessive in, in our pursuit of, say, success, whatever that activity might be, we often lose track of what's happening to ourselves in that, during that process. And I think it's very important to be aware of that. Um, you know, you don't, in today's day and age, you certainly you cannot afford to run yourself into the ground. Uh, and like I said, there's no one else looking out there, uh, looking out for you. And so it's important to bear that in mind. Uh, and I think the older you are, the more aware you might become. But uh, for men who haven't, I hate to use the term, gotten it yet, uh, you know, there, there basically is a, an inherent bias in, the, in say, the, the health industry towards the uh, well-being of women and, and, and against um, against men, you know, th these are things that are important and, and should be borne in mind. Uh, we all have different stress tolerance levels, and ultimately, uh, I think your health is something that probably is the most important thing. Um, remember, to yourself, you're not a utility, you're a valuable human being, uh, so, and, and so you need to take care of yourself. This is something, an important lesson I've learned. Um, if and when, for example, I decide to go back in Asia uh, to, to Asia, I will properly gauge the job, and um, you know, if need be, I do have certain financial goals I want to achieve in the next few years. But I'm not going to pursue it in the relentless fashion, which uh, really just 
ran me into the uh, into the ground. I mean, I, my, my health since then has just not been back to where it was. So, you know, we we as men really need to be acutely aware of this. Um, the and then that requires reflection. And I think, so as for my viewers and subscribers, I think all of you are already there. You're all reflective enough um, to see all of these things. But uh, sometimes we just need a reminder. Um, I, I remember when I was had my burnout. No one was was telling me uh, I need to you know take some time off. No one gave a shit. And <laughs> so and I just thought I need to save this money. I need to save this money. Um, yeah, I think in, ultimately I, it would have been worth it to take a couple of weeks or even months off and just it would have taken longer. Who knows, I might have had other insights into things that, uh, you know, but I, I, mean, I was so caught up with just um, making as much money as I could in order to achieve a certain goal, um, which uh, the goal itself was a bit, uh, I wouldn't say a letdown, but it was, uh, you know, it, it's, it, it's always like that. I mean, this is a, this is kind of Bradley, I know, but when you actually get your degree, it's it's never it's never quite as spectacular as uh, as you dreamt it, it would be. But anyway, no. So no, this is this is the point. It's really we really need to take care of ourselves, um, and 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 every man needs to engage individually with what his stress levels are. For example, I I could never do what my my friend and colleague does. I mean, if I'm really tired from work and just didn't sleep enough, I can't you know an hour of intensive training, I could, but I, I, I'd collapse. I've tried it a few times. Um, so uh, it's, it's, these are things that are important that need to be borne in mind. And uh, yeah, that's enough enough rambling now. Um, in the future, I'm, I might indeed uh, address, uh, continue addressing some of these uh, issues regarding traditionalism and, and what have you. And um, a possible possibility in the future as well. I, I sent Barbara Russell PM. What I've been thinking about doing, I haven't contacted Girl Rights What yet, is uh, translating uh, important videos from other MRAs into German and then uh, you know, pre presenting them in video format. Uh, it would help if I get the transcripts. Um, if I can't, then yeah, then I could just write it down. And that's very, very time consuming, so you know, I have to see how that works out. But I think that's something I could do for the YouTube, uh, for the community, and for my viewers, and for everyone else. Because I think, you know, Girl Writes What and Barb Boras are my favorite uh, YouTuber, uh, my going his own way YouTuber. And Girl Writes What has a lot of stuff that sort of uh, spans bridges. And um, so, yeah, trans translating that and the most important ones, I think, because it's a lot of material. Um, so that's definitely a possibility in the uh, near to not distant future. And anyway, that's uh, that's it for now, and thanks for watching.